Hey guys, Jerry Bierman again with CAP, and I want to, the Conduit Apprenticeship Program, I want to give you another, uh, just a quick hit on the step-by-step -step process. So we've come up with really like cool names like phase one, phase two, and phase three. And you can read some of the, the descriptions on that, but let me just kind of take you through some of the uh, some of the, the, the reasons why we're doing that. So phase one is where we're going into a school or into a community and we're walking students through anywhere between three and five classes, typically two hour classes. And we wanna just give them a chance to explore, expose them to tools and everything from drywall and like what tools do you use to patch drywall and like how do you paint the drywall, how do you tape it, mud it, sand it, paint it, like how do you fix stuff in your house, how do you hang a ceiling fan or hang a picture on the wall. So phase one is really a basic, you know, how do I fix things around the house. Phase two are some of the kids, some of the students, candidates that will vet through phase one. Phase two where we might say, which I've got five interns in our company where I'll say, hey, would you be interested in coming part time um, and working with a company like mine? You know, just a couple hours a week, a couple hours a day, and just to expose them to what it looks like to have a job and to work in a trades business. Then phase three is when we'll take them and maybe hire them full time. So taking maybe a, a recent high school grad or college grad. Uh, or somebody that needs full-time employment and say, hey, phase three is we can actually keep you in the CAP program and you can be full-time employed by me with the intention of having conversation with you over the next 90 days. Do you want to stay at Alluring Glass or would you like to move to some other organization? You know, I can help you get another job with one of our business partners. Um, you know, in another remodeling contracting business, et cetera. Or we work with uh, a few of my friends own Chick-fil-A's. So maybe the high school student wants to get a full-time job in the food service business, for instance. So anyway, wherever the student wants to get, we're all about the students, the candidates, and we're about their development and getting their trajectory up and to the right, as they say. So anyway, just a little, pull back the curtains, a little step-by-step -step process that we take candidates through.